Hi, this is Natasha Lara Lewis with Esther's Place, and today I'll be sharing with you how to make the needle faulted fairy yarn mother from our kit. She's very cute with her sparkly wings, her little ball of yarn, her real knitting, and curly hair. So join us as we take and open up your box. You'll also need a foam block, a couple of needles, and an option, the felting tool. So as we open our box, you're going to find lots of fibers in there. The first one is a piece of white about the size of your hand that's going to be the core for her body. We have a piece of blue blend and that is going to be for her um, clothing. We have a flush tone for her face. We have two little balls for the arms. We have some gray hair. Whoop. Some sparkly wings, just wanting to fly there. They're so fun. And, of course, her little knitted swatch hand knitted by me. So go ahead and we're going to take that piece of white wool here and we're going to make a little core. So you're going to take that white wool and we're going to wrap it around your finger nice and tight. It's just going to be a little, little white body. Give it a nice little twist so it's nice and tight and then pull it carefully off so you don't pull the insides out. Tuck the ends a little bit. It's not going to be very big. And there's our core. Put one needle through it to hold it. You can see it's just out a little bit, but uh, mostly stuck into the foam. And then we're going to start poking. First the ends, and then the other end. Now the needles have little notches that tangle the fibers together. So as you're poking, it's actually catching the wool together and turning it into felt. So we're just going to poke and poke and poke all over till it gets nice and dense. It's going to take a couple of minutes, so just go ahead and take your time. And uh, whoops. we're going to take that out once we've poked it a little bit and rotate it to a new side. Put your helper needle back in and continue poking. Now if you do have a tool, this does come in handy. And it makes it go a lot faster. All right, so we're going to rotate it one more time, and then we will be ready to continue on. Okay, so I'm going to give it a little stretch. We want it to be the full size of the body, so about, uh, about four inches or so. So there we go. Stretch it out a little bit. Okay. So now we're going to start by adding the um, head color around there first, and then we'll do the body. So take that piece of flesh tone, we're going to fold it in half to make it skinnier, and then we're going to anchor it in at the top here. Take a single needle and just poke it, and I'm at the very end of this, and it doesn't matter how big you make the head because we can always cover some of it up with the body color if you need to. All right, we've anchored it, it's nice and tight. And I'm going to wrap that very tight, and every once in a while fold the end over a little bit. Alright, so you got the flesh tone all the way around the top. You can see it's starting to look like a little person. So we're going to pin that in, and we're going to start poking. And just go ahead and use short pokes on this whole thing. That means that you're not holding the knee, you're not poking so deep, you hold it with your finger here as a stopper and it's just going to give you a nice smooth surface for that outside color. Doesn't matter so much when you're doing the core, but when you do the outside you want it to be nice and smooth. So we're just going to poke and turn, poke and turn, same routine, and always I start it around the edge here too, get that anchored down. We want it to be nice and smooth and if you brush your fingers over it there shouldn't be any like fuzzy spots. All right, so I think we're almost ready to add a body color. Let's give it one more rotation. Okay, so there we go. We have our head. Now we're going to take and do the exact same thing with the body. 
We're going to take that blue and it's going to hang over the bottom edge just a little bit. Go ahead and anchor that in. And give it a little tug. Now you see it's attached. Oh, we're going to wrap this up nice and tight. Fold in the edge a little bit. Okay, the tighter that you wrap it, the less poking we need to do later. And then we're going to start anchoring it around the head part here. And then a little bit all over just to make it hold. Okay, so just wanted to kind of tuck all those little fibers in. Poke it a little bit on the bottom. And you can hold on to the head while you're doing this so that way you don't poke yourself. Okay, so this blue is a really pretty combination with some other colors and sparkles in it. Right, so now we've got our body sort of anchored in. You can go to poking it some more with those short pokes. You can also use that tool if you feel like that would speed things up a little bit. And we're just gonna poke till the whole thing gets nicely felted and poke it from the bottom as well. Eventually we want that bottom to be nice and flat so it'll stand on the table. So kind of try it out from time to time to see if it'll stand. All right. So it should be smooth, it should be flat, and from there, we have one more little detail before we add the arms. So we're gonna felt around here to make a nice little neck. So you just felt where the blue meets the head and it forms a great little ridge for the neck. Okay. Maybe I'm gonna felt down my head just a little bit, seems like. She's kind of tall. All right, so now we can go ahead and add the arms. Now let's just take a look and see where you want the front of it to be. That's gonna be my front. I'm gonna set it down so I can come back to it and add the arms. So for the arms, we have two little bundles. We're gonna unroll these. They're done the same way. So I'll show you one and then you can go ahead and do the other one too. So we have a little piece of the sleeve color and a little piece for the arms. So you're gonna fold this in half to make it skinnier. And then we're just gonna roll it very, very tight. Now it's easier to do this on your foam. And then fold the ends in a little bit and just roll it up nice and tight. Okay, once you've got it rolled, you're gonna take one needle and put it through to hold it. It's like a little skewer. And then we're gonna poke and turn, poke and turn, poke and turn. Don't use very deep pokes or you'll get a very hairy arm. Hairy fairies, don't think we wanna go there today. So we're gonna just go very shallow little pokes and kinda of keep it turning as you go. And I'm not doing this end near my fingers too much because A, it's near my fingers, and B, you really don't need it too felted because we're gonna attach it and we need that fluff for attaching. But I will do this part where it's gonna be her hand because we want that to be felted. All right, so let's just keep on poking until it's smooth and holds together nicely and you want it to be the right proportion. So if you put it up to her body, her arms are still a little big, so we wanna just keep on felting that down.
Okay. So let's go ahead and slide that off. And we're going to put it in our hands and roll it. And you can breathe on it. So it's going to be nice and smooth. So we'll add a little bit of that arm color to the back here. You're going to take and poke it in with one needle. Until it holds. And then wrap it up nice and tight. Whoop. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and poke that a little bit as well. Let's see, let's put the needle in this way, it'll be a lot easier. So very shallow pokes on this because you don't want to push the color that's underneath through too much. So just little pokes on this and then we'll attach it to the body. You could give her short sleeves, you could give her long sleeves, depending on how you roll it. Okay, so there's our cute little arm. We're going to attach that little arm right to the side of her body here, right up by the neck. So pin it in with one needle and poke it with the other one. All right. So once it's attached, you can give it a little tug, make sure it's attached. Then you can also kind of felt, felt it a little bit so it curves. Just kind of shape it and felt it. I'm felting down into this groove so it curves her arm a little bit right in here. And then you'll go ahead and make the other one. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of blush. I like to actually use a little bit of makeup blush to add some rosiness to their cheeks. So just brush on a little blush and then we'll add that hair. Okay. So we've got this crazy curly hair and we're gonna figure out what we wanna do with it. You can just position it on the head and then felt that down in there. This is actually naturally curly fiber from a sheep. This one's from a Lincoln sheep that's curly. And you can just pin that in there. And go to town poking. You can do a lot of fun hairstyles with that too. All right, so we're just kind of poking it into place with the needle and you could braid it. You could do all kinds of fun things with it. All right, let's go ahead and add those wings. So we're going to actually pull up a little bit of the hair Add the two wings and put the hair back down and the hair is going to help hold it in. You actually need a little bit of wool to help hold these in. Alright, so you can see I put a few needles in to hold those and then I'm poking some of this extra hair behind here down into the wings to help to hold them. You also want to kind of position them so they look right from the front. Okay, there we go. So we got our hair, we got our wings, we've even got our blush. And the next thing is going to be to just take and add the knitting in there. There's all kinds of fun things that you can do with hair. I just kind of want to add like lots of little cute details, but you can do that. How about some Princess Leia buns? That's kind of cute. 
Okay, so for the knitting, we have a little tiny knitting swatch that we're going to add to her hands. So there's actual knitting needles, actually toothpicks, and, uh, whoops, I dropped a stitch, and our yarn, our knitting. So we're going to carefully take the needles out of one, and we have like little loops up at the top here, just hold on to the little loops, and you're going to thread your needle through her hand, and then you're going to thread the loops back onto the needle. Okay, and then you go ahead and do the other one with the other arm. So it's actually in there and holding. And if it's going to be pretty permanent, you could take and you could just felt the knitting to her a little bit. And you could also felt the little ball to her as well. And that will kind of keep things in place for you. All right, well, yours will have another arm, but I'll add the arm later. So there is our little knitting angel. Very cute little project. You can do all kinds of different things with the hair and the styling and little details and things like that. So thanks for joining me. I'm Natasha Lara Lewis with Esther's Place and happy felting.